Well, at this age range, the children really need a fixed routine. They have a very pronounced sense of order, as we would call as Montessorians. So we start by welcoming everybody. The children come into the classroom, um, take off their own shoes, hang up their jacket. So we foster independence in the children by letting them do as much as they can themselves. They usually move into the classroom, find work from the shelves. It's free work cycle for a little while. And then usually around 10 o'clock we have a little circle time to say good morning to all our friends. And then usually some of the children help one of the teachers to prepare snack. That we always do together so the children have a sense of ownership. Then we set the table together and everybody sits down and has snack and that again is a great opportunity for us to foster social skills again, to share food, to offer it to other people, to practice ground rules like how do we sit at the table, can we say please and thank you, can we pass on a jug. I think it's a, it's a lovely environment, it's really the, the, the classrooms as itself are they are very well set out, it's homely, it's well presented, it's clean and tidy and just it makes you want to actually stay and start doing some activities off the shelves. You feel, you feel safe and you feel welcome. We want them to not only have pride in their environment but also to be able to practice new skills and to get used to being part of a group and caring for others, caring for the environment. We just believe that the child needs to be given maximum respect and this is the child's classroom, this is the child's work and it's as important as adult work. For the children it's the freedom of choice that's important because every child has different interests and goes through as the sensitive periods as we would call it at different times and so I think it's the the job of the teacher to really be sensitive as to what those needs are. And I think that's where it, where it differs from, from other methods, that we really base a lot on observation and really follow the child, the individual child, and base it on the child's choices at the moment. Because we believe if, you, if a child has an interest and you extend that, the child is much more likely to be interested in le learning later on in life, if it has a good basis for that. And by feeling secure and like in a second home, the children feel free to actually explore and do more activities and really extend their learning. And by us putting nice and appealing looking activities on the shelves, the children are drawn to it, they want to work with it because it's always clean and the classroom is pretty, we always have flowers out. There's three teachers in the classroom in infants. We can really give our attention to each and every child. If you train as a Montessori teacher, one of the things you get told pretty early on is that you would always use relatively quiet voices and you would always go down to the child's level. So you would never talk down to a child or at the child because again, that is against fostering independence and fostering good self-esteem in the child. We always explain to the children why. We wouldn't just say, oh, don't shout. We would always follow it up with an explanation and try to word things positively because it's important to model positive behaviour and to really focus on, what, on what's good and what's appropriate as opposed to what's not appropriate. I believe children have such a huge potential for learning and, and intrinsically know so much, even when they're just one year old, when we get them to look after them. So I think it's tremendously important to actually really focus on what they can do and to encourage the children because I think that generates happiness and I think that's, that's the difference. <laughs>